Okay, so in the last tutorial, we uh, had the character walking forward and uh, walking forward uh, three steps uh, for 90 frames. And so now I'm going to have it be, let's go and go to the nonlinear editor and add that action back in. It's called walk forward. All right, so he's walking forward up to about 90 frames. Okay, so let's say that we want this guy to go from a walk to a run. So now we're going to mix together uh, two, two different motion uh, motion capture clips. All right, so you can see here in the side, I've already imported my uh, motion capture data of a run animation. And I've gone ahead and I've already done the retargeting and, and editing of that, um, of that clip onto my character using the techniques I showed you in the previous tutorial. So let's select that, oops, select our character and select that run animation. Okay, so you can see he's running. Now I had to edit this a little bit, actually a little bit more, so I didn't want to show you the whole thing. It's kind of tedious. Uh, you can see also he's kind of off to the side here because that's where that motion capture clip uh, started. But that's good. Uh, this will show us how to how to really, uh, you know, mesh two completely different clips together. All right, so let's put these two clips uh, together on the, um, on the, uh, in, in, in the NLA. All right, so we'll go to the nonlinear animation system, make sure our stormtrooper is selected, make sure we have a track. Um, again, if, if you hover your mouse over the left-hand side and you hit Shift-A, you'll add a track. If you hover your mouse over this area here, the kind of dope sheet side, you'll add, if you hit Shift-A, you'll add an animation clip. These are the ones that we have access to that we've previously created. Um, so we'll add on the bottom track, we'll select that bottom track, and we'll hit shift A and add that walk forward animation. And then right before he gets to the end here, we'll add that run onto this top track. So we'll hit, select that top track and hit shift A and select the run. But of course, we're having the same issue we had before, which is that the, uh, the location of the two clips don't match. But that's okay, because we're gonna mix them together uh, using the animation baking technique that we saw before. But before we do that, Let's merge these two clips together because also the arms and the legs are not going to be in exactly the same place. So let's make sure that these blend together a little bit better. So let's, I'm going to select this bottom clip here under strip. I'm going to go and check mark auto blend in and out. I'm going to do the same for the run auto blend in and out. So you'll see that there's, you know, it's, it's already kind of, kind of um, morphing between the two. So give it just a few frames. You don't want to have too many, uh, Oh, about four or five frames here, all right. And um, now, of course, we're we're going to have to edit the the pelvis location like we did before. So let's select these two, and we'll do exactly what we did last time. Select everything in pose mode. Go to animation. Bake the action. And this, oops. Let's see. Where does this end? It ends on frame one o four. Animation. Bake action. 0 to 104. All right, keep all the defaults for everything else. Hit OK. Now we have an action. We can delete these. And then we'll go and we will select only the pelvis. And we'll go into our graph editor for the pelvis. Make sure that. Uh, only view the selected keyframes is checkmarked so we can easily see them. And then we'll go into our, oops, curves. Ah, we can see here, here it is. Now since we're blending these, you can see there's kind of like these extra keyframes here uh, between these two. I'm just gonna uh, band select these and I'm gonna X to delete those. We don't really need those. B. And then we will, oops. So again, he was not only translating uh, forward incorrectly, he was translating to the side incorrectly. So we're gonna move this over here so that that looks correct. That one looks pretty good. And then this one here, aha. So this one here is obviously the major culprit. So we'll uh, band select these uh, keyframes for this transition and delete those. And then just grab the offending keyframes and move them until things match and let's see how it goes now all right he walks forward and now he starts running okay 
And then again, you can, there's a little bit of slipping on his feet and stuff. So you can go ahead and start, you know, editing these things more if you need to. You could, uh, for example, redo things and uh, you could go ahead and give it more frames of blending in the NLA if you wish uh, to make it a, a smoother transition. It's pretty fast, so it's kind of hard to see that his feet kind of, you only see his feet slip when you watch it in slow motion. But uh, yeah, it looks like he's just going and he just takes off because Lord Vader's calling him. He doesn't want to get force choked. So uh, that's simply, and then again, you can just keep redoing this over and over. So this is one of the techniques. You create clips by importing them and retargeting them to your character. Then you edit those clips as need be in the graph editor. You bring them into the nonlinear animation editor. And then you, let's go ahead to our dope sheet here. Select everything. And again, uh, once you've mixed everything together, baked the action, and then edited the thing together, then you go ahead and you give it, I'm going to call this one walk to run, and push that down onto the NLA. All right. And again, and then you can just keep doing this over and over again. You can keep baking these things together, mixing them together and stuff, getting, uh, taking different clips of animation, and then uh, putting them, you know, into... Uh, into one animation, all right? And uh, now you could go ahead and you could delete these if you want to. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you another way of dealing with that, uh, you know, animating, you know, mixing clips together, uh, doing this same technique, but instead of using the graph editor and editing the keyframes manually, I'm gonna show you a different technique by kind of parenting uh, the character to a null and moving that instead, all right? So I hope this helps you out.